up guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be wrenching on my 21 road glide special today we're going to be doing a pretty simple mod but i figured i'd record it for you guys because i got to do it regardless and i'm hoping it goes smoothly because i am taking my bike to work tomorrow and it is about like a little after seven o'clock p.m and i usually am in bed by 9 9 30 so let's hope this goes smoothly I'm changing out the stock air intake to the Screaming Eagle Elite Heavy Breather. I'll drop a picture of it now. So I got that used for a pretty good deal. So I looked at everything. It looks like it has all the parts that are needed. The only thing I had to pick up was just a little gasket for pretty much the intake manifold, I guess. So other than that, it looks like it has all the parts. I'll show you guys the intake here in a second, but it's pretty much already put together because of the fact that I did get it used, but I'll show you guys how to tear off your stock air cleaner and how to install a new one once you get it all prepped and pretty much together. So with that said, let's get right to it. All right guys, so this is the intake that I went with. Like I said, it's the Screaming Eagle Elite Heavy Breather. Like I said, that was already together. I just took it apart real briefly just to rewash the filter and re-oil it. But you can see I have all the parts pretty much already here. Like all the O-rings and stuff that you have to insert are already inserted. So let's get to the bike and get the stock air cleaner off and start to throw this on. So first things first, whenever we're working on a bike near anything that could fall, uh, bolts or nuts or whatever always want to make sure everything's covered a that way if something falls um, With the contrast we can find it easier and B that way We're not going to nick up our pipes or anything like that So first thing we're going to do is take off this little cover here. That's going to be a 1 8 Allen Once that cover is off you see two more Allen's it's gonna be a 5 30 second Off. Once that cover is off, you can remove the air filter. Okay, the next step is going to be these three screws that hold this back plate on. These are also going to be a 532nd hex. Just go ahead and just try to get them all cracked free. Once you get those three out, you're gonna to have to remove these breather tubes. And then from there, you have those crankcase bolts. Just wanna get them cracked free for right now. This is a 7 16. can just pull that plate right off and if you guys are obviously in this process now would be a great time to go ahead and kind of clean your throttle body and clean this surface off just make sure if you're using air intake or throttle body cleaner um, just to make sure watch your finishes and stuff have towels or whatever because if that stuff gets on any of your finishes it might do damage so just use caution there but now would be a good time to clean all that stuff up. Now I just had this bike serviced, so therefore I'm not gonna go too crazy. Just kind of wipe out the excess and all that good jazz. So at this point, once you prep your back plate and everything for installation, um, and you wipe your throttle body and stuff down, make sure you install your gasket. And then we can start by reinstalling this back plate with the breather screws. And this is always very important to start these by hand because you do not want to cross thread these. And make sure that sits right on down there like so. And make sure it is flush all the way around. And for these it's going to be a T45. And as always you just want to make sure you keep some sort of pressure on. So the back plate stays all lined up and where you want it. Don't go too snug until you get both of them kind of there. Make sure everything's still lined up. 
And don't forget, before we get too crazy, we want to get those other uh, screws in. And you might want to use a flashlight to help see the holes. And also, I failed to mention earlier in the video, anytime you guys are doing anything to the air to fuel ratio as far as changing intakes and exhaust, you will always want to retune your bike before you go riding on down the road. It'll be safe enough if you're doing the work yourself and uh, you don't want to get it tuned or whatever until you do the work. It will be fine to ride to your shop, but I wouldn't go on a 500 or 1,000 mile trip without having your bike retuned. These are still kind of loose and all these that I'm starting are also sort of loose until we get everything started. Now that everything is still lined up to where it wants to be, now we can go ahead and just start tightening these down a little bit. Just snug them up, nothing crazy. But you also want to make sure they are tight enough because I have seen horror stories of people not tightening these and then uh, bolts will come off down the road and get sucked in through the air intake and destroy their motor. Now that those three are tight, we can go finish tightening up our breather bolts. Those are tight, I'm just gonna go check these again. All right, so we cleaned our throttle body, installed the new gasket, got everything on kind of loose where we needed it, and then snugged everything up and tighten to the torque specs. So real quick, once we get to this point, I like to just re-clean up anything that I touched just because I'm a neat freak. And I'll clean off the outside of this now. Even though I'll wipe everything down once I get it installed. And at this point, we are getting ready to install the actual heavy breather portion using a 3 16th Allen. And at this point, between what I took off and what I'm putting back on, um, because like I said, the intake was used. These are the only three screws, believe it or not, that I saw with Loctite on them. So therefore, these are the only ones that will be getting some. Just a little dab is all you need. And if you guys do your own service, one thing to mention is when you do take off your intake or whatever to clean your throttle body on your service, one thing I always do is I always double check all of these breather bolts and those other screws anyway. That's a good habit to get into because then if something is loose, you can catch it beforehand in the 5,000 increments versus um, when it's too late. Okay, so this part's always a pain in the butt because you gotta try to hold this big sharky thing on here while starting your screws. Always try to just get the first one started by hand up top here just to help hold it on until you can get some of the other ones started. And there again, we're not going crazy. We're just literally trying to get them started. And once again, it's a good idea to kind of make sure it's seated in place and just use a free hand or have a pair of other hands assist you. And same ordeal, just trying to get them all started going in a crisscross type pattern. And then once we went around, we're just gonna go snug them up. Be sure to refer to your instruction manual and or service manual for the torque spec. That is that, that is installed. The only thing left to do is to obviously clean up anything that you may have touched to remove your fingerprints and or oils. And then, like I said earlier, now would be the time that you would go retune your bike and obviously start it up, run it, ride it, and make sure everything went smoothly and you don't have any leaks in the breather bolts or anything like that. But uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. I figured I had to do this anyway, so why not bring you guys along with me? And uh, hopefully it looks good. We'll take a look at it once I clean it up and get the towel out of the way. All right, now that I got it all cleaned up and shined up, let's go check it out.
Alrighty guys, that's all I got for you. Like I said, I picked it up, used on a really great deal. I couldn't resist. I've always liked their style intakes. I know a lot of taller people say they're constantly bothering them with where their knees are placed, but I've never had that issue. I have loved that look for years. Um, so I found a used one because I wasn't going to pay the $560 for a new one. But I'll have a parts breakdown and stuff down in the description. If you pick up one like this that is used and you're curious. Um, but overall, I hope this video was helpful for you guys that have never taken your intake off before. Like I said, this is also helpful if you're going to do service on your bike and you want to clean up your throttle body and stuff like that. So with that being said, if you stuck around this long, make sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell icon so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one. Make sure to ride safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.